Hello, NES Pest here, and this time we're going to do sort of a, of a different video. It's going to be kind of like how old video games are way better than the newer ones. Not to say the new games aren't good. They are, but let's go back to a simpler time. You know, let's go back to the 80s and 90s, and let's just let's just relive some of the past, mem past memories some of you guys might have had. To be honest. Alright, let's take another look. Boxes for games. Boxes for games, they're simple, but they work. They have game cases today, and you know, it's simple, also, and it also works, but to hold an original box, it really feels like the game is just like bursting out at you. There's no all of that, you know, um, you know, um, you'll get a, uh, if you buy this game, it's gonna be the next biggest thing, oh, awards, awards, everything, bravo, bravo. Um, the box art, it's, to be honest, I like the box art in these games better than any game that have been released really ever. Um, the boxes, they actually feel like you're going to go on an adventure. It feels like, you know, there's just like a quest awaiting you for like Final Fantasy, and you must refill it, and it, it really gets you pumped when you see a box. You know, if I was back, if I was born in the 80s, and really I wish I was, um, but I wasn't, um, these boxes on the shelves, you would see them, you could get to look at them, you get to know what the game is going to be like. Um, not all games are like that, like Top Gun and stuff, and Ghostbusters, they had pretty good artwork too, but they're bad games, but really, it just immerses you, it makes you, it makes you feel like you really want it. Games today, they're just all like first person shooters, they don't have any variety. Let's take a look at the variety, there's an RPG here, it's a puzzle game, um, sort of puzzle game, side scroller. These are r simple games. Tetris, a simple idea, but it works. That's what I'm trying to stress here. It really works. It's not like first-person shooters these days. I know I'm referring to that a lot, but first-person shooters, you know, all the games out basically these days are like, kill everything, and no, some games are just easier, and like, it's just really, really nice to have variety, and not just to be, like, that's what you have to play. You can't play anything else. If you want to be cool, you have to play first-person shooters. No. Back then, all games had their own independent style, so everyone could choose what they would like. You know, Mario Bros. series. That series has come a long way. I still prefer the old NES versions, just because it really feels like you're about to embark on, like, a really awesome adventure. Zelda. The box art. It's simple. Very simple. Just says the name and just has a few trees or something in the background, but it works. And the only reason it works is because it gets you ready for the mood of the game. You see that shield, you see that name, you see a sword going through, and you see Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo, a really good console, the Super Nintendo. Um, in the back, you get to read about it and you get to, like, choose if you really want this game. Um, you get to actually choose instead of all these games today that usually just have the exact same description. Now, another thing I'm going to get on to. A game came with everything you ever needed. Like Mario Paint. They didn't have to make it a big box. They didn't have to, but they did. And the only reason they did is because they weren't money hungry. They actually cared about what the fans and everyone wanted. They wanted, you know, a um, few new games, and when they gave them a game, they didn't give them, like, oh, you buy the game here, you buy the other things here, you buy that there, and it costs more than just the game. No. It was a big box game, but it was big box because of all the interesting things you could get. Like, most games, now, you don't get anything. All you get is the game and the manual, and a whole whack load of DLC. And back then, there was no DLC, so everything you got was everything you got, and that's all you really needed. They didn't overwhelm anyone with, like, oh, you have to buy this, like, go to the store, buy the mouse pad, that's going to be $16, um, the mouse, it's going to be $50, the game itself, heck, why don't we just make the game itself oh, $75, we're money hungry, ha, 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 And yes, that is kind of how I see companies today. Uh, Nintendo's pretty much stayed the same. Um, they're pretty still much the same, but take a look at some other things. Just the game themselves. They don't have to have awesome bar box art either. Like these ColecoVision games, Zaxxon, that's an awesome game, but it does not have, it does not have like all this, oh, um, it's $59.99 and, um, 
you get like guns and you can shoot things and stuff. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, that's what everyone's doing. Um, no, it's original and everything here is original. It's simple, simple. It doesn't have to be advanced to be good. Ladybug, that's an awesome puzzle game. It's not advanced at all. Anyone could pick this up and play it. Except most games nowadays are rated like M for mature and stuff, but most 12 year olds and everything play it and everything and like Donkey Kong that's also a really great game it's an arcade game and it's simple but it works and that's what I'm trying to say here everything I'm showing you here is simple but everything here it works it it, it sold a lot it was really good selling games Mario 3 probably one of the best selling NES games Final Fantasy that's a series that's still going on today um Tetris that's that's pretty much the same now um, Bubble Bubble, that is a series you don't hear too much from anymore, but it worked when it was out, and that's the important thing. When it came out, it was big, and it was awesome. You didn't have all these updates and games flying everywhere, and you couldn't understand what to do. It was simple. One more thing. The need for all companies to make technology the best, m make sure they have the best technology. Well, take a look at the Nintendo Game Boy. It's only black in color and it has a green back screen. But it worked. And do you know why it worked? Because everything about it was awesome. They didn't care about color. All they cared about was that the games were good. Just like a game. See, like a uh, Final Fantasy game. Let's say they made Final Fantasy. It looked beautiful. It was like even in 3D. But it didn't control well at all. It was barely even a game. That's why I like these things, because they're actual games, and they actually are fun, and they don't have to be revolutionary to be fun. That's probably what I'm trying to say here. Game Boy, very simple, but it sold millions, and it was an awesome, awesome handheld for the time. Even the Sega Game Gear, which was in full color, it beat that thing. The, oh, the Nintendo Game Boy, it beat it. No, the... I already messed myself up, sorry. The Nintendo Game Boy, it beat the Game Gear because of its battery life and its excellent, excellent games. The games were excellent. And that's all gamers really cared about, is that the games were there and they were actual games. Nintendo 64. Also, it was revolutionary for the time. But that's what I'm trying to stress. For the time. And the time of everything, it just comes and goes. But games like Zelda Ocarina of Time, they still hold up today. They still are better than most of the games out of the market today. And that was, mm, 10 years ago, even more actually. More than 10 years. Maybe like almost 15 years. And it still holds up as a great game. Excite Bike, that's a series that's been going on for a long. Started out on the NES and it made its way up to the N64. Yet, you don't see Excite Bike go, um, oh, um, Excite Bike, um, bikes are extra two dollars each, and you need to have, like, an internet browser, and we're gonna take all your information, and then we're just gonna get your credit card through there, so you can't lie to us. And, um, it's, it's simple, that's what I'm trying to stress. Everything here, everything here, is simple. But, it works. And that is what I like about retro games. Thank you, and NES Pest.